What's going on, Speed Racers? This is David from Car Speed Solutions again. And uh, so I made a video uh, a couple days ago, and it was talking about the speed trays and the lateral G trays and how you can use it at the racetrack to make adjustments to make yourself faster, right? And I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was like, Dave, it was a cool video and all, but you know what would have been really cool? If you would have shown the data, then what chassis adjustment you made, and then how it affected the go-kart and what the data looked then, right? And how to apply it. I was like, well, that's a great idea. So this is kind of like a follow-up video to that. Um, I do recommend if you didn't watch the other video, go and watch that one first. It's only a couple minutes long. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to dive into just a little bit of data. I'm going to show you the chassis adjustment that we made and how it affected the go-kart, right? So using the technique... And the things we were talking about a couple days ago, right? Let's pull up some data. So what we're looking at here, we're looking at a whole lap. Um, again, the top graph is your speed trace. The bottom graph is your lateral G trace. The red um, trace is the warm-up race. And then the green is the pro race, okay? So let's go just to the warm-up race. The driver complained about a push on exit, especially in one and two. He said it just wouldn't turn. And if he get it turning better, the go-kart would be way faster, right? So let's zoom into turns one and two. All right. And we'll talk about what we did uh, a couple days ago, which we're going to measure the minimum from the minimum, or the I'm sorry, the maximum lateral G to the minimum speed. And that is 14.297 feet. So what we ended up doing that that clearly shows that the good card is not turning well and it's not wanting to rotate. So the adjustment we made was we took the left rear and we slid it out. Check it out. When you slide the left rear out away from the chassis, that takes bite out the left rear because it slows down weight transfer to the left rear. So we're gonna let's go back to the full lap here. So let's look at the pro race, okay? So he ended up winning the pro race, the driver did, and he said it turned way better. So let's zoom in uh, to turns one and two again because that's where the problem area was, right? And now let's measure it. So the maximum G is about 102 feet away from the minimum speed. So now the good car is rotating way easier. It's not pulling as much speed out to rotate and... I would like to point out, too, that it's now the go-kart is rotating more on entry versus what it did in the warm-up race, which was past the apex. And again, I know people, all they want to talk about is roll speed, roll speed, roll speed, right? But if that go-kart doesn't want to cut, rotate, and get through that turn, man, you could have all, you could have roll speed till the cows come home. It don't want to make a difference because you ain't going to win if you can't get around the turn. So, guys, I hope uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.